Are you ready, guys? For the final. This For the is final the five. final five. Who's your bet? In no particular order. Ginoo. Number 15. You've earned your spot in the final five. Congratulations, Ginoo. Number. Ginoo, number four. The third spot for our final five goes to Ginoo, number 11. Please step forward. Ginoo, number. Sino? Ginoo, number eight. Grabe, last na. You're still in the running? Yes, last but not any way list. Take your spot in the final five. Ginoo, number. Who's your bet? Ginoo, number. Thirteen. And these are your top five Ginoom Sariyaya. Congratulations to, all, to our top five Ginoom. Now we shall move on to our Bini Binis. Again, we are announcing this in no particular order. Pasok ka na! Bini Bini! 26! Take your spot in the final five. Congratulations, Bini Bini, number 28. Okay, so congratulations, you've made it to the final five. Bini Bini, number. Sino? Bini number 20! Last, last two. You're still in the running. You're still in the running. Bini Bini! 25! For the final spot, our final five. Last one. Last spot. Claim your spot. You've earned it. Bini Bini, number. Push your back. Bini Bini, number 27. These are your Bini Bini Sariaya top. Five. Okay, so ginoo number four. So ito ang iyong katanungan. Pagkatapos ng dalawampung taon, ano ang sasabihin mo sa iyong anak tungkol sa taong 2021 at bakit? Uliting ko. Pagkatapos ng dalawampung taon, 
Ano ang sasabihin mo sa iyong anak tungkol sa taong 2021 at bakit? Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Pagkalipas ng taon, dalawampung taon, mag ang sasabihin ko sa aking anak, napakaswerte mo sapagkat hindi mo naranasan magkaroon ng pandemya. Sa panahon ng pandemya, nandito ang lungkot, nandito ang saya, nandito rin ang pagsaselebrasyon, nandito rin ang lahat ng memories na pwede, mong, pwede kong masabi sa'yo. Sa so, pamagitan ng mga gantong patimpalak, may kwekwento ko sa kanya na anak. Sumari din ako sa ganito. Maaring mayroong mga bagay na sobrang ikakalungkot natin. Napakaraming pagsubok na pinagdadaanan noong 2020. Ngunit, sa pamagitan ng pagtutulungan natin, sa pamagitan ng mga bagay na pwede nating Uh, may ibigay sa ating mga mahal sa buhay ay masasabi ko na magkakaroon ka ng masaya at ng mapayapang pamumuhay. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Okay, maraming salamat, Ginoo. Number four, Gabriel Yes Maranan. Please step back. Jake. Hello, Jake. How's the isolation? Okay naman po. Nagpa-party-party po kami doon. Saya, nagpa-party. Talagang party-party sa isolation. Okay, so our candidate requests for Tagalog. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, give it away. Yes. Here is your final question. Pagkatapos ng dalawampung taon, ano ang sasabihin mo sa iyong anak tungkol sa taong 2021 at bakit? Ulitin ko, pagkatapos ng dalawampung taon, ano ang sasabihin mo sa iyong anak tungkol sa taong 2021 at bakit? Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Uh, para po sa akin, ang sasabihin ko po sa magiging anak ko 20 years after, kung ano nangyari sa 2021, ang sasabihin ko po sa kanya, ay ito isang malaking pagsubok sa lahat. Hindi lang po sa atin, kundi sa lahat ng tao na nakakaranas ng pandemya ngayong panahon. At tulad ko po, bilang isang anak po ako na pinalaki sa isang relihiyosong pamilya, ang maibibigay ko po na aral sa aking magiging anak ay lagi siya magdasal. Lahat ng bagay na gagawin niya sa kanyang buhay ay samahan niya ng pagdadasal. Dahil naniniwala po ako na ang tao madasalin ay siyang laging pagpapalain. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Thank you very much, Ginoon wow. number 8, Mr. Jake Porto. So, kumusta ang isolation facility? Um, it was fun and we're having fun back there and there's a lot of music back there and we're just feeling the moment at the moment. May happy birthday, wala? Wala naman po. Walang Merry Christmas. Oh. Okay, are you ready for your question? I cannot do something about it, so yeah, I have to be ready for this. Okay, your question is, in 20 years time, what will you tell to your child about the year 2021 and why? I'll repeat, in 20 years time, what will you tell to your child about the year 2021 and why in the future i would tell my child that this year was pure of chaotic essence in this world that this has brought negativities into our lives and into our society but as a public figure i want to do this and deliver this to my children that i am a model i am a model with a purpose and with responsibility and back in my time i want to use this platform as an opportunity that I will be able to help a lot of underprivileged children because I believe, no, we should all believe that we are changing those children's lives. And I, and I am not just a model. I am a model with a purpose and with a substance. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ginoo. Number 11, Rance Sinor Cadiz. Hello, Savior. So, para fair, kumusta ang isolation facility? Saya po. Wala happy birthday? Wala po. Wala. Saya. Hmm. Okay. So, the Ginoong Sariaya finalist requested for Tagalog. Okay. Ginoong number 13? 
Okay, ito ang iyong katanungan. Uulitin ko ng dalawang beses. Pagkatapos ng dalawampung taon, ano ang sasabihin mo sa iyong anak tungkol sa taong 2021 at bakit? Uulitin ko, pagkatapos ng dalawampung taon, ano ang sasabihin mo sa iyong anak tungkol sa taong 2021 at bakit? Ang sasabihin ko po sa aking anak, pagkalipas ng 20 years, ay sasabihin ko na ang mga tao ay naging praktikal noong panahong yun. Natuto kami na maging, natuto kami na maging, natuto po kami maging, sum, maging maingat sa sarili at sumunod po kami sa mga health protocols dahil Kapag hindi po kami sumunod ay maaari po kaming magkasakit at madamay ang aming pamilya. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Thank you, Ginoo. Number 13, Savior. Okay, so our last Ginoo. Pagkatapos ng dalawampung taon, ano ang sasabihin mo sa iyong anak tungkol sa taong, taong 2021 at bakit? Ulitin ko, pagkatapos ng dalawampung taon, ano ang sasabihin mo sa iyong anak tungkol sa taong 2021 at bakit? Para po sa akin, ang tanging masasabi ko lang sa aking anak sa nagdaang 20 years ay ang patimpalak na ito ay naging isang napaka-memorable sa bawat isa sa atin. At may pagmamalaki ko, may pagmamalaki ko ito at dahil naging kasapi ako at naging kasapi ako ng top 5 sa pagiging Ginoo 2021. Ay lang po at maraming salamat. Thank you, Ginoo. Number 15, Justin Timothy Dumlao. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa ating mga Ginoo. Hi, Gwen. Kumusta ang isolation? Nahimatay. Sabi ko na eh, ikaw yun eh. Anyways, kumusta ang isolation? Okay naman? May happy birthday daw? Wala? Wala naman po. Wala. Okay, so our Binibini finalist has uh, asked for a Tagalog question. Ready na? Ready na po. Okay. Paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon. Ulitin ko, paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon? Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Para po sa akin, wala akong, hindi, wala akong kapangyarihan para mabago ang mundo, kundi ang just lamang ang may kapangyarihan para mabago ang ating mundo. Ang kaya nating gawin ay mga babubuting bagay para lamang mababubuti at maaayos ang ating mga nasa kapaligiran. Dahil para po sa akin, ang mundo at ang mga problema dito ay hindi dapat laging sinasarili, kundi dapat lagi natin pinap pinapas sa Diyos. At iwan ko po sa inyo ang verse na to. Uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15, Do not be discouraged or be afraid, for the battle is not ours but God's. Tayo ay maniwala sa Panginoon dahil siya lamang ang mga siya lamang makakapagbabago ng ating mundo. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Thank you so much. Binibini 20, Gwen Aracines. Okay, mag-relax ka na sa likod. Hello, Joaquin. Hello, good evening everyone. Kumusta isolation? Happy po, nagsasayawan po kami doon actually. Totoo nga, chismis party party. Okay, so our Binibini candidate or finalist asked for a Tagalog question. Okay, Binibini number 25. Uulitin ko ng dalawang beses ang iyong katanungan. Okay, so para sa iyong katanungan, Binibini number 25, paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon? Ulitin ko, paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon? Maraming salamat po sa isang napaka gandang katatungan. Para sa akin, uh, 
para po sa akin kung paano ko po babaguhin ang ating ang ating ang ating mundo sa susunod na limang taon is through my experience in this time of COVID-19 pandemic where I can apply those values and experience that we had, that I had in this time, so that I can contribute to the future of the five years in the future. And I would like to also to contribute to make our world a better place for each and every one. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bini Bini 25, Miss Chakina Rosa. Our next, Bini Bini. Hello, Angela. How's your isolation? It was fun, sir. Talaga nung pa party party sila. Pa party party daw talaga don. Okay, so our Bini Bini requested for Tagalog. So here is your question. Ito na iyong katanungan. Paano mo babaguhin ang mundo? Sa susunod na limang taon, uulitin ko, paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon? Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Bilang isang kandidata ng Binibining Sariyaya, nandito ako sa inyong harapan upang ipakilala ko sa inyo ang aking advokasya at ito ay magagamit ko sa susunod na mga taon. Dahil ang advokasya ko ay maturuan ng tao kung ano ba ang kahalagahan ng kalusugan, lalong-lalo na sa panahon ng pandemya. Bilang isang medical student, narito ako sa inyong harapan upang turuan kung ano ba ang dapat at hindi dapat gawin ng mga tao dahil naniniwala ako na health is wealth. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, BDB26. Angela Monsanto, please proceed at the back and relax. Our candidate asked for Tagalog. So, ulitin ko siya ng dalawang beses. Paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon? Ulitin ko, paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon? Naniniwala ako na mababago ko ang ating mundo sa paglipas ng limang taon sa pamagitan na pagkakaroon ng pag-aaral sa ating mga isip at puso. At gusto, bilang isang boses at mukha ng kabataan, gusto kong pangaralan kayo na magkaroon tayo ng tiwala sa ating Diyos sapagkat dito alam natin kung ano ang pagbabago sa ating mundo at dahil kasama siya because He planned all this, He planned he end all of these problems because I believe in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bini Bini. 20, 27, Shanin Esguera. So ito na, our last Bini Bini. Hello, Alona. Ikaw ang naiwas sa isolation facility. Para ako ang nangiinig. <laughs> so, how's the isolation facility? It was fun. Ang lakas pa ng tugtog. Okay, so our Binibini requested for Tagalog. Okay, so Binibini number 28, ako po ang magbibigay ng iyong katanungan. So, uulitin ko ng dalawang beses. So, Binibini number 28, ang iyong katanungan, paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon? Uulitin ko, paano mo babaguhin ang mundo sa susunod na limang taon? I will change the world not just by myself, but also the other people by educating them and myself. Because for me, education is the key to success or the major foundation of a person. And based on my experience and observation, education plays a pivotal role in accomplishing goals and aspirations to other people. And as what Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world. And I thank you. Thank you so much, Bini Bini 28, alone.
si Bintuy simula nung kinronahan ako bilang isang ginoong sariyaya. At sa dalawang taong puno ng mga bagong karanasan at bagong kaibigan, mas nakilala ko ang aking sarili. Ang ganitong pati palak ay naging susi ko upang mas lumaban ako sa buhay at mas tumaas ang aking tiwala sa sarili. Nagpapasalamat ako sa mga taong gumubay sa akin sa bawat yapak ng aking paglalakbay. Sa aking mga kaibigan, sa aking kasintahan, sa aking pamilya, at higit sa lahat sa ating Panginoon. Nang walang sawang sumuporta at niniwala sa akin, dahil naniniwala ako, na pinagpapala ang mga taong nagbibigay ng walang hinihing kapalit, ngunit mas pinagpapala ang mga taong marunong magpasalamat. Muli, ako po si William Wallace Matthew Herrera, ang inyong ginoong Quezon 2019 at inyong ginoong Sariyaya 2019. Maraming maraming salamat po. Two years ago, I have been blessed to win the title of Binibining Sariaya 2019. It has been such a wonderful experience because I have met people who share the same passion as I am, and that is to be of service to others, but most especially to our beloved hometown, Sariaya. During the two years of my reign, I was immensely grateful to continue my passion for service to my fellow Sariyahins and to take part in social civic activities. My experiences of volunteering on coastal cleanup drives and community pantries made me realize that we, Sariyahins, have strong solidarity in giving hope, especially in such trying times. Many doors of opportunities have also opened up for me to represent Sariaya on a much bigger stage. And by God's grace, was lucky enough to win the title of Binibining Quezon 2019 and Miss Millennial Quezon Province 2019. From that moment, I knew that I had a big responsibility to represent our province, our people, and our culture in the best way that I could. I've always wanted to showcase the diverse beauty of our province, especially the things that need to be promoted. And with the utmost love and support of my fellow Sariyahins and Quezonians, history was made. It is still surreal to realize that a girl from the province can stand in front of a national stage, confidently representing the small town she calls home. But despite all of these, there were also challenges that I have faced before all of these triumphs. But conquering all this became possible and I owe it all to the people who believed in me throughout my journey. To my constant support system, Mommy, Dad, Liv, and Nanay, thank you for giving me and supporting me and my dreams wholeheartedly. I am truly blessed to have you all in my life. To all of my friends, relatives, Diane and Jandel, thank you for supporting me ever since. To the out-of-the-box organization, my vigorous family, Sir Jeffrey Humara, thank you for being so passionate in what you do. And thank you for honing our potential to be the best representatives of our beloved hometown, Sir Yaya. I will always be grateful to be part of this family. To Mayor Marcelo P. Galleta and the people in the Sariaya Tourism Council, thank you for recognizing and giving me your full support. 
to Sir Gary Roses, Sir Robert Bumbani, Sir Louis Pangilinan, Sir Mon Sarmiento, Sir Sidney, Ate Ace, Sir Jeff Carlos, Ate Pepay, Sir Richard Abanador, Power Shots Photography, special mention to Kuya Charlie and Kuya Kevin, and also to Matthew. I would like to thank all of these amazing people I have met during my journey. Most especially, Sir Eman and Sir Red. I would not be standing here if it weren't for the both of you. Thank you for being my safe haven, for your dedication, for sharing your dreams and visions with me. I know that we have come a long way, and I cannot wait to share more memories with every single person on the QPP team. And to the next, Bini Bini Saryaya. May, may you continue to touch the lives of our fellow Saryahins, to inspire them, the youth especially, to be the best versions of themselves, and to empower them by creating that ripple effect of positive change to our community. All of these would not be possible if it weren't for you, God. Thank you for making me an instrument of hope to other people. I will continue to do all things by heart and to trust in your plans. I knew that my reign would be different, but by God's grace, I also knew it would be remarkable. This phenomenal journey taught me that with faith and determination, you can surpass any hindrances in the pursuit of your dreams. Now, that I am passing my crown tonight, I am more happy to see my growth. Nevertheless, I know that there are more things that I need to prepare, learn, and experience. And with the greatest support of my fellow Sariyahins, hopefully when that door of opportunity comes, I will be more ready to represent Sariyaya on a national stage once again. For the last time, I am Kwaizel Ayala Sapitanan, your Binibining Quezon 2019 and your Binibining Saryaya 2019. Mabuhay ang magilas na bayan ng Saryaya. na ba kayo para malaman kung sino ang tatanghaling bagong ginoo at binibining saryaya? Yes, the most awaited part. Our ginoong saryaya. 2021 fourth runner-up is Ginoon, number 15, Justin Timothy Dumlao. Arbini Bining Saryaya 2021 fourth runner-up goes to... B number 27. Shanin Nicole Isguera.
our Ginoong Sariyaya 2021 third runner-up. Our third runner-up goes to Ginoong number 13, Mark Xavier Rosales. Gentlemen, Sariaya, your Kinoong Sariaya 2021 is no other than our Kinoong Sariaya 2021 is Kinoo number eight, Jake Porto. And our first runner up is. So on number 11, Red Sidor Caddy. Once again, go 
your Filipino Sariaya 2021 is Miss Alona Mirasol. And to crown her is the Filipino Sariaya 2019, Wiesel Sapitana. All right, so once again, guys, so this is Figuras, the search for Ginoo. At Pinipiling Sariaya 2021. See you all at 2023.